slope. Move, 20 seconds. Here we go. The 2007 season is underway. He runs to a first down. He breaks the tackle. And Adrian Peterson is loose. He has scored. Dwayne Bow has his first National Football League touchdown. Firing over the middle. Bold in there. Caught 10. Five. It's a touchdown. And here come the Cardinals. Touchdown, Brandon Marshall. Denver off to a great start. music, David, because the show's in town. Just like that, the fortunes have changed again. Back to throw, looking left. Off the football, picked out of it air. Touchdown, Bills. The Seahawks come right back out and charge right down the field. Gates caught it at a juggle. It bounced away from him, and he pulled it back in. Touchdown, Titans. It takes a team. Statue. We've been waiting for the playmakers. They showed up today. He ran through about three or four different tackles, powered right into the end zone. How do you like the running game? I love the running game. In order to win, do the ordinary things in an extraordinary way. One play at a time with great energy and great desire and great grit. David Carr dives and he's got the first down. And does a Superman act. Brett looking, drills the middle. training camp. When you do good, I do good. I'm doing pretty good, guys. to throw. The rush. Going to be hit. Going to be sacked. 
No, no, he got out of it. Now he fires downfield, and it is caught. They had Look Manny by the back of the shirt. How did he get away from that? I have no idea. And he takes the snap, looks to left, lobs it left, first is wide open, touchdown Giants! The Giants with the most improbable win in recent memory have won Super Bowl 42. Eli, to his critics, how you like me now? And the final score, oh, the New York Giants. Coughlin and the Big Blue erase all of their doubters. They knock off the mighty Patriots 17 to 14. Pro football cycle of life was celebrated with a New Orleans style funeral at the Saints summer camp. Yesterday is gone. Tomorrow ain't promised. Today is all we have. Last season is a history. Next season is a mystery. We got this season. One of last year's elite teams pronounced last rites over 2006. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. 06, 07 is no longer with us. Amen. The 2007 Saints were quickly buried by an 0-4 start. But a truly funereal season was experienced by Miami. The Dolphins were definitely stuck in a rut as they dropped 13 straight games. He drops the football. And the ball's on the ground. The Bengals have picked it up. And they're going to take it in. Hey, we're better than this, man. We're better than this. We're better than this. We're better than this, man. Let's go now. A loss in London made Miami the worst team on two continents. A winless season seemed possible until overtime of a Week 15 game against Baltimore. Coming back to throw. Got time over the middle. Camarillo's got it. He may go the He's got it. The Bobby Jones. While Miami suffered a staggering power failure, other teams got a jolt from the quarterback position. 64 different signal callers started during 2007, including Carolina's 44-year-old Vinny Testaverde. Testaverde had thrown his first NFL pass when Ronald Reagan was in the White House. NFL record 21st season in a row that Vinny Testaverde has a touchdown pass. 36-year-old Todd Collins had not started a game in 10 seasons when he took over for the Redskins with four games remaining on the schedule. Behind Collins' mistake-free passing, Washington won all four games and earned a playoff berth. I appreciate what you did tonight. Hey, you, you got a set. Yeah. Hey, I, I'm going to tell you, that, that, you can't, that was big time right there. Good job. Young running backs, like aging quarterbacks, made an impact. Minnesota rookie Adrian Peterson, the NFC's leading rusher, ran for an NFL record 296 yards against the Chargers. The Eagles' Brian Westbrook topped the league in yards from scrimmage and scored 12 touchdowns. But he passed up a certain score so his team could run out the clock and seal an upset in Dallas. Under center, McNabb gives it off to Westbrook. He's at the 20, he's at the 15, 10, 5. Brian Westbrook falls down at the one-yard line. Falls down, gives up the touchdown to run the clock. San Diego brought in Norv Turner to ensure the Chargers wouldn't fall down before reaching their goal of advancing deep into the playoffs. But when the team lost three of its first four games, the new head coach faced withering criticism. Get my ass kicked! Why you messing with them? Why you messing with them? We're getting our ass kicked right now. The Chargers seemed headed for a dissension-wracked disaster of a season but they eventually came together as a team. Hey, defense, I got a question. 
How y'all feel? Me, me, bad job. Most hostile. Highly motivated, motivated, motivated. Ah! And let's go. Y'all better not throw a screen to 36 right now. We waiting for it. Just telling you. Just telling you, Woody. Kid in the back, pedaling, being rushed. It is tipped to the line. Intercepted. Phillips taking it in. Touchdown to San Diego. Yeah. We playing now. We finally playing. Antonio Cromartie, the league leader in interceptions, returned a missed field goal 109 yards for the longest scoring play in history. 10, 15, 20. Cromartie's bringing it back down the sidelines. 25, 50, 40, 35, 30. Put the move on. Cromartie to the house. Touchdown, San Diego. The Chargers won nine of their final 11 games to clinch the AFC West. A wild card playoff victory over the Titans furthered the sense that 2007 was a season of renewal for the Chargers, who laid to rest the memory of their first round loss of a season ago. On the road to the Super Bowl, a team must be in step to be successful. That's the responsibility of the head coach. Sing it, Carlos. A little energy, man, a little excitement, a little excitement. Nothing wrong with it. Hey, they should never get underneath you now. Let's go. Get your ass down and punch him in his mouth. Let's go. Coaches turn individuals into teams. Run. You gotta take off, you gotta fly. Stay square, keep your shoulders square. Get him out of the game, will you? Get him out of here, another back. In practice, mistakes test a coach's patience. In a game, mistakes can cost a coach his job. No penalties! No penalties! No penalties! No penalties! No penalties! Damn it, no penalties! No penalties! Hey, you! Come here. You know I love you, don't you? What are you thinking? What are you thinking right there? On that stick look? What are you thinking? You look at that picture and you tell me what you're thinking. You look at that picture right there. You've been playing this league a long time. What are you thinking? You're six foot five, three. After I get done with you, you're gonna be five, nine. For 17 years, Brett Favre's bravado has been his trademark and sometimes his downfall. But Green Bay coach Mike McCarthy changed that. Here it is, good, good, good. Nice job, Brett, nice. All right, I got green right divide flop, you counter. 98 strike, you tag. Let's go, Jumbo in there, Jumbo. All right, let's go. Hell yeah. You gotta love this. Practice, ah, this do you like. Let's go, let's go. 300. Double stick nine, X Indy, sign of three. In McCarthy's controlled passing Indy. offense, Favre played smarter and better in 2007. Brett drills the middle, he's got Jennings, touchdown! Brett Favre has passed Dan Marino to become the national football league. Yeah. All-time leading yeah. touchdown passer. At 38, the old man carried the pack back to glory. Put her in the old mice! The Packers found a new weapon in breakaway runner Ryan Grant, number 25. We get an opportunity to run that thing, baby, and we're making it happen. Here's a handoff, Ryan Grant breaks through 40, 45, oh. off to the races. He's taking it all the way to the house, like secretary at the Belmont. Nobody will catch him. 13 regular season wins tied a franchise record. Keep my hands on you. Keep my hands on you. Want me to come over one for you? What's that? Want me to come over one for you? What do I got a mask or what? Come on, deep let's go, baby. Here comes Santana Moss, and he's cut down nicely. Fumble the football, scooped up by Watson. Go one, go one, go one. 
McCarthy won more games in his first two seasons than any coach in Packer history. As always, the season was defined by Brett Favre. He completed a career high 66% of his passes. But more than that, he willed the Packers to victory. All right, let's go now. Let's go. We can change the game right here. On the first play from scrimmage in overtime, this crowd in full throw. Favre takes, fakes the handoff, looks to throw. Rainbows down the left sideline. Got a man out there over the yes. channel. Favre surpassed John Elway to become the NFL's all-time winningest quarterback, and the Packers were once again a playoff team. And the Green Bay Packers are your new NFC North Division champions. The NFC Divisional Playoffs brought a familiar foe, the Seattle Seahawks, to the snowy stage of Lambeau Field. The snow fell heavily. So did the Seahawks. Ryan Grant set a Packers postseason record by rushing for 201 yards and three touchdowns. But the loudest cheers were for Brett Favre. Snap to Favre and third down. He's hit, spins away, stumbling, rolling right, shovels it forward. He's got down a lead inside the five. Oh, you talk about improvisation. Just a great individual play by a great player. The snow never let up. Neither did the Packers. They overcame a 14 to nothing deficit to roll up a franchise postseason record 42 points in defeating the Seahawks. We're on our way. One more snap back to the Super Bowl. Because of this play, many wondered how Tony Romo would respond at the start of the 2007 season. Well, we got high hopes. I got high hopes. Romo showed no ill effects. He threw four touchdown passes in a season opening win against the Giants and went on to throw 36 for the year, the most of any Cowboys quarterback. Romo in trouble, running up the middle. Keeps, throws it in the end zone. Wide open, cut, touchdown. Romo made that play on his own. Romo may be changing the call. High snap over his head. Romo runs it down at the 25 and kicks it. Picks it up and runs left. At the 20, Romo trying to pull a McNabb. Gets away <laughs> from one man. Left to the 40, to the 50. Look at this kid. Look at this kid. Oh, man. I am not a Romo fan. Jeez. Romo developed many new fans in 2007, none bigger than wide receiver Terrell Owens. It's going to 81. It's going to 81. <laughs> well, good job, man. Just know that I got another gear. Yeah, I know you do. Give me that little dimple and I'm ready to go. Give me that dimple and I'm ready to go. Owens was also a tremendous fan of himself. Hate me if you want to. Hate me if you want to. But I love me. He caught four touchdown passes in the regular season sweep of the New York Giants. Touchdown to Terrell Owens. Start pouring the mold for the statue. <laughs> hey, man, you're good. I love you now, I love you. I love you. T.O. provided the entertainment. Running back Marion Barber, the attitude. Watching Mary and Barbara play I do. or what? I actually do. You gonna make them tackle? They don't want to tackle. It's a grown man on. 
The next generation triplets help Dallas finish 13 and three, giving Romo another shot at the playoffs. Few can comprehend the pressure on the quarterback of America's team. One who might is the quarterback in New York, especially one named Manning. The Giants lost their first two games and struggled at home all year as Eli was maddeningly inconsistent. And Manning throws his third pick six of the game. But as the season progressed, so did the young quarterback. Run it easy, run it easy, run it easy. He matured as both a player and a leader. Has time, slings one left for Burris, who makes the catch over two defenders for a touchdown. What a play. What, what a, a catch by Plexico Burris. They can't touch you. I've seen you. You are the best. You are better than me. Defensively, the Giants led the NFL with 53 sacks. Built for back to throw, sacked by Humanura. Ball is loose, picked up by Osi. He's running with it. No one's going to catch Humanura. He gets the hat trick, the sack, the forced fumble, and the touchdown 75 yards. By the season finale, New York had already clinched a playoff berth when they hosted the AFC's best. I'll tell you right now, baby, you got everybody watching. We just come out here and say, we put in a good effort. We don't do that. We come out here to bang your ass. It was a game that meant nothing and everything. In nearly handing the Patriots their only loss of the season, the Giants gained momentum throughout the playoffs. 80 degrees in January. Don't feel like home field advantage to me. Manning back to throw. Pumps, looks, fires right for Tumor in the end zone. Touchdown, Giants! Manning, 20 of 27, a buck 85, two touchdowns. Never put the ball in harm's way. We're going to take Dallas down! Off to Dallas! Off to Dallas! My favorite sign I've seen today so far is uh, Tony's better looking than Eli. <laughs> I'm just glad a girl was holding it up. No, that, that was my mom, actually, yeah. so. Two quarterbacks carrying the burden of expectation faced off in the first ever playoff meeting between the Cowboys and the Giants. Wings one left, wide open, Tumor at the Cowboy 40. Sheds a tackle, down the left sideline, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Amani Tumor, 52 oh. yards. Yeah, go, go, boys. Great job. The third time was the charm for the Giants. They came together. The NFC's top scoring offense fell apart. And turns and throws, and Creighton dropped the ball at the 30, and he'd have had his first down. So it's wow. down to one play. A season is down to one play. Once more, a playoff victory was in Tony Romo's hands, and once more, it slipped away. Oh, has time to the end zone, intercepted by the Giants! And the Giant bench goes wild. It was the Giants' ninth straight win as the visiting team, the ultimate road warriors on the road to the Super Bowl. That's a great win. That's a great Speech. win. Nobody gave us a chance. Let's have a team. One, two, three. Team. Team. These are the faces of perfection. And in 2007, they were both praised and punished. An NFL security person confiscated a camera that was on the Patriots' sideline in which the Patriots are accused of taping the Jets and some of the signals that they were sending in. Patriot games had multiple meanings in 2007. And while Bill Belichick was taunted all season for what he did behind the camera, he and his team were admired for the incredible things they did in front of it. And the Patriots machine is in high gear. Patriot games accounted for the four most watched shows of the TV season as Belichick's bunch drove up ratings and margins of victory at an unprecedented pace. 
The Patriots now have a high watermark in points on the season, 56 to 10. Mercy me. This team don't know how to quit. Okay? They don't know how to quit. They won too many Super Bowls today. With three new receivers, it took league MVP Tom Brady just half a season to throw 30 touchdown passes. Tom Brady to Wes Welker. Nobody has come close to stopping them. Tom Brady shoots it down the middle. It is caught. Touchdown, Dante Stallworth. And they just make it look easy. Fires down the right side. Touchdown, Randy Moss. Randy Moss in the end zone. Touchdown. Another spectacular catch by this incredible football player. He makes catching a football look awfully easy. The Patriots were relentless and ruthless. Ball to the ground to stop the clock. No, he doesn't. He fakes it. Fires end zone. Touchdown, Randy Moss. We are not finished. We are not finished, fellas. They started 8 and 0, winning by an average of more than 25 points per game. Touchdown. And they headed to Indianapolis for a much anticipated Week 9 matchup with the Colts, who also came into the game undefeated. The Colts started the season by making the transition from challenger to defending champion. And the Lord of the Rings was Peyton Manning. Blue 20! Peyton throws to the back of the end zone. Dallas is there. Touchdown! With Manning throwing for more than 4,000 yards for a record eighth time, there was a certain sameness to the Colts' success. He got it! Touchdown! Even from Indy's point of view. They're the Colts, we the Broncos, we got swag. They too finesse, we tough. But opponents learned the hard way that the one-time finesse team was now a physical force. They want to run the ball, we're going to hit them in the mouth. They want to pass the ball, we're going to hit them in the mouth. Let's shut these dudes up. Let's beat them up all day. Stick in the mouth on three, one, two, three. Stick in the mouth. In 2006, they allowed the most rushing yards in the league. In 07, they allowed the fewest points. The Colts transformed into a smash-mouth football team on both sides of the ball. He got airborne oh my Lord. Run this time, a dive right In week side. nine, they met a team that surprisingly looked a lot like their former selves, the pass-happy Patriots. This is the first time the two NFL teams have met undefeated this deep into an NFL season. I got a lot of love for you as a man, as a coach, man. I love you, man. Good luck today, coach. Hey, you too, man. The respect was mutual, and so was the theme each team carried into Super Bowl 41 and a half. Hey, 60 minutes of ball. 60 minutes, baby. 60 minutes. 60 minutes on three. One, two, three. 60, 60 minutes. minutes. Woo! Wait, For most of the 60 minutes, the Colts kept Tom Brady under control. They even intercepted him twice, doubling his season total. Still, there was no panic in the Patriots. Hey, a lot of football, huh? After all, Brady usually saves his best for last. Randy Moss, and he's got it up the five yard line. Brady. The throw fires, caught, touchdown. 22 17 ball game. 60 minutes! 60 minutes, you understand me? Get our ass in here. I know it's hard, and I know we're in a hot stop fix, but let's get to the goal. Snap to Brady, fires down the middle, it's caught by Falk. He drives it in, touchdown! And the Patriots are still undefeated. Hey, yes sir. That was championship hard. Yes sir. Uh, play great yes, sir. down the stretch in the fourth Thank quarter you. when you need it. 60 minutes, hey, this game is about 60 minutes, baby. We're halfway through the season. We got a long way to go. We got a long way to go. The second half of the Colts season was no day at the beach. Following their loss to the Patriots, they faced a Chargers team trying to emerge from an early season fall. Peyton Manning couldn't find his receivers as he threw a career high six interceptions. Peyton Manning has completed more passes to the Chargers than he has to the Colts. And what appeared to be an aberration was actually an omen. The Chargers have done it here, and the Colts are going to go home. 
two consecutive losses. In addition to losing their second straight game, the Colts lost their second superstar to injury as Dwight Freeney joined Marvin Harrison on the sideline for the rest of the regular season. By the time we get back to playing our ball, man, Colts ball. But in 2007, Indianapolis found two new superstars. Trust me, I'm gonna be there. NFL Defensive Player of the Year Bob Sanders, off by Bob Sanders and Reggie Wayne, who caught 104 balls and led the league in receiving yards. Wayne provided explosiveness on offense. Sanders provided defensive toughness. Let's knock them out right here. On and off the field. Hey, don't never let a man put some lip gloss on your lip, man. Never. And, and he put it on with his pinky. The Colts finished the regular season 13-3 and, and won their fifth straight division title. Coach Dungy is the winningest coach in Colts history, passing Don Shula. Following in Don Shula's footsteps is something Bill Belichick and the Patriots did in 2007 as they tried to join the 72 Dolphins as the NFL's only other undefeated team. Randy. Nice job, man. Thanks. All right, now listen. Yeah. We've got to get these play actions going. Belichick knew that say? perfection yeah. could only be achieved with proper execution. Okay, let's go now, fellas. Just do your job. By asking right, his players to do the ordinary, do your job. he knew his team could be legendary. The Patriots' perfect record could come down to this play. But in week 13, it appeared the Ravens had stopped the Patriots. On fourth and inches, he stood up at the line. But they're going to say the Ravens called a timeout before the snap. Baltimore learned a valuable lesson. Never give Tom Brady a second chance. Last time, look at end zone. Pumps once, fires back in the end zone. Touchdown, New England. And the Patriots show us what they're made of. Brady led three fourth quarter comebacks in the final six weeks and proved to everyone, especially the Steelers' Anthony Smith, that in 2007, the only guarantee in the NFL was that New England would win. In the backfield, looking for a flea flicker, fires it long and deep. Open, touchdown! What a play! They pulled it off. And now Anthony Smith and Tom Brady had some words. I guess Tom Brady's saying, hey, you guarantee that win or what? The Patriots knew better than anyone that talk is cheap. We don't talk, we produce. Their punishing play carried them to the brink of perfection. Let's get physical with them. Let's pressure them. Let's pressure them. He's back to throw. He's in the end zone. He gets it as he gets rid of the ball. It's picked up and run in for a touchdown. And snowballs are in the air. We're as ready as we're going to be. You know, he's got to go out and play. Good day to throw. Yeah, it's not always. Yeah. Well, no, not all. <laughs> it's fitting that in order to go 16-0, and 0, the Patriots would have to win a shootout with a Manning. And the Patriots' perfect season is very much in jeopardy. Eli paced the Giants to a 12-point second-half oh, lead. Got a long way to go, fellas. We got a long way to go. But no lead was safe against the NFL's all-time highest-scoring team. Perfect. This is what we want. Brady in the shotgun. This is what we want right here. Third and ten, direct snap to Brady. Stands in the pocket, fires it to the right, down the right sideline, and caught. Touchdown, Patriots! Tom Brady, touchdown pass number 50, an NFL record. For Randy Moss, touchdown reception number 23, an NFL record. Championship football. The heart of a champion, Daddy O. For the first time in the 88-year history of the National Football League. The heart of a champion. A football team has gone 16-0. We all know there's a bigger goal we want to accomplish, but for right now, <laughs> how we feel about making NFL history? Oh, yeah! The perfect season continued in the divisional playoffs with a near-perfect performance from Tom Brady. In the shotgun, takes the snap. They're still holding the football, looking, firing end zone, touchdown. Great fake by Brady. Brady's trickery had the Patriots poised for a rematch with the Colts who had to win a rematch of their own to reach the AFC Championship game. Man, we owe these dudes today, man. We owe these dudes. 
snap. Payton takes it, steps up, steps up in the pocket, throws one down the middle, Martin with a catch of 25. Gets out of the way, lost the football, and San Diego oh, wow. got it. The Chargers have it. Phillips got the football. Here comes the rush. Pump fake, looking, end zone, Jackson leaping, touchdown! And Rivers is on fire. But even when they lost their best player and their starting quarterback to injuries, the team that began the year one and three again found ways to overcome adversity. There it goes! Touchdown! The little guy, Darren Sproles! The last game ever played in the RCA Dome. What was a great season has turned into mush. It's the Chargers at the Patriots next Sunday. The winner of that one goes to Glendale, Arizona, representing the AFC in the Super Bowl. We will win! 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 There's nothing better than today. I promise you that. I promise you there's nothing better than today. Today is the best day of your damn life. Believe it. champion David against Goliath the Patriots of course are undefeated they are 17 and 0 no one in this country gives the Chargers any kind of chance in this game Maroney the tailback in the eye to give us to Maroney to the right and he plows it in and the Patriots take the lead that's the way to start hey Maroney I'm white hey we ain't going home Second coldest game ever at Lambeau Field. Minus one degree with a wind chill of minus 23. Determined run by Brandon Jacobs. Eli Manning has played outstanding football today. Mexico Burris is just doing a number on Al Harris. Giants are playing physical cold weather football. Six nothing Giants. Just slow down. We all right. Just keep your point. A lacerated pancreas wouldn't have kept Rivers off his field this afternoon. The Chargers have done it even without LT, but they're settling for the, the short field goals now. Direct snap to Brady. Time, time, time. Fires over the middle. Down and in. Touchdown, Jamar Gaffney. You can't give him nothing. They got that. That was an easy one. That's it. Good drive. Good drive. Packers looking for a spark. Five under center. Fakes the pass. Now back to throw deep. He rainbows He's right got side. It. He's got his man down the right sideline to the 45. He's to the 40, the 35, 30, down the sidelines, high-stepping end zone, touchdown, oh my! I think that qualifies as a spark. Oh, buddy, let's ride now, let's ride! The pass is bobbled, picked off! Second interception of the day by the great Tom Brady. All right, let's go. Brady chucks it up in the air, picked off! I'd have bet my mother, please forgive me, Mom, that Tom Brady would not have been picked off three times in this game. Guys going to want to come back over here and the ball is 10 yards over the receiver's head. Okay, so leverage that part of it out, all right? 10 6 Packers. So far, it looks like the Giants are very well prepared for what we're doing. Right. Manning, handoff left for Jacobs, plows into the end zone for a touchdown, and the New York Giants regain the lead. Fire takes, fakes the handoff to Grant, back to throw, back wings it over lead. the middle of the end zone. throw steps looks fires end zone touchdown and the Patriots come up big when they really had to Manning handoff for Bradshaw cuts up the middle to the goal line touchdown Giants the corners got stripped Tausha recovers and my goodness maybe there is some kind of divine intervention here at Lambeau Field so we are tied who's gonna turn it over who's gonna do the dumb thing Patriots getting ever closer to Super Bowl 42. Wow. New England's pretty darn good, man. I'll tell you what. Best I've ever seen. And a lot of jubilation taking place here at Gillette Stadium. Can you feel it, baby? We going home, baby. So it's all come down to this. 
the ticket to the Super Bowl. Finish. Times from 36 yards out for the win. Step aside. Eagles gets it down. Kick a line drive and it is no. He hooked it left. Oh, what drama. We will go to an overtime. Let's go. One time. We get the ball back. One drive, field goal. We win this. I ain't gonna need this hat where we going. The Patriots, the American Football Conference champions, as they have beaten the San Diego Chargers 21 to 12. Guys, this close. So the season has come down to an overtime. Far back to the low, they picked up the blitz well. He throws the right side. Intercepted by the Giants at the 40 yard line. Corey Webster. My word. All right, here goes Tynes again to kick the Giants to the Super Bowl. Snap is good. Kick on its way. And over end. Does it have the distance? It is. Yes! Lawrence Tynes has kicked the Giants to the Super Bowl. And the Patriots are 18 and 0. Super Bowl, here we come. The New York Giants are going to Super Bowl 42. And then there were two. One chasing history the other chasing a dream as the road to the Super Bowl reached its end.